Alex, how would you grade yourself the last uh, month? Uh, I mean, camp was awesome. I mean, every player came out there and worked really hard. And including myself, you know, I went out there with a goal and a mission. And each day was like a stepping stone for the season. So I'm really excited because we all had a really good camp. How different is this camp versus camp a year ago? Um, I mean, with the coach, with the new coaches that Coach Pruitt's brought in, it's just a different different atmosphere. It's been awesome. Um, each coach is willing to help everybody. So it's just. It's a different atm atmosphere. Are there, are there different drills or different techniques or different things you're doing special teams wise as opposed to here? Uh, I mean, Coach here's done a really well job with us, all the specialists. Um, I mean, really, for us, it's kind of like different. You know, each one of us has a different thing to work on. So um, each each practice will work on that craft. What was the biggest area in which you were looking to improve this offseason? Um, just my distance on kickoffs and field goals, you know, being more consistent and hitting my targets. Is that kickoff? Uh, Opportunity uh, is that still up in the air between you and Paxton? Or uh, I mean, Paxton's taken over. He's done a very well job. Um, he's a strong kid, and I know when when game time he's going to step up and succeed. So it's it's up for grabs. But I mean, he's done a very well job. What have you seen from the punting competition with those other guys? I mean, the punters have done excellent. Their camp was very well. Um, Joe's hitting a big ball. Paxton's hitting a big ball. So it's going to come down to game time. What's your range? How, how far back can you go before you play? Um, I mean, it just depends on the day and the weather conditions. But I mean, I'm confident enough that coach will put me somewhere, and I know that he knows my range pretty well. So wherever he puts me, you know, I'm gonna try my hardest and try to hit it. You feel comfortable in, if you had to pick, you know, in a, in a game time or a game time situation, like a 40 yard or yeah, mm -hmm. which which hash do you feel more comfortable? In? Um, since I'm a righty, probably left hash. But I mean, put me in around the field, and you know, it would be good. Some of those long snapping duties have been split in the past. Elijah had it uh, mm -hmm. some last year. What have you seen from Riley in terms of consistency? I mean, Riley's an older guy. He's a veteran. He stepped up, and honestly, he's done very well. Had a big camp. Um, has, hit, has hit his targets on long snapping and short snapping. Who's the starting holder? Um, right now, I mean, Joe Doyle's done a very well job. Also, with Paxton Brooks, he's done a very good job holding. So, I mean, right now it's Joe, but it just depends. Last time you were... Go ahead, Jim. When's the last time you were in position to kick a game winning field goal? I know it came close to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, hit that 45 to tie, and then we were driving. But you know, I trust coach's decisions, and I trust our offense with uh, JG running it. And that was probably the closest opportunity I had for a game. Winner. There's a pretty good chance to be in some close games. Mm -hmm. What do you do mentally before you've got a big kick? Um, you know, I kind of just like exclude myself from everything, you know, block out the noise, block out, you know, all the hype and stuff, and kind of just, you know, go to the net and do some form work and just kind of, you know, get ready mentally. Coach Pruitt has mentioned he's really been committed to building player relationships in this mm -hmm. second season. He said that's one place he kind of feels like he's come along. How have you seen him uh, maybe grow in that area and really building player relationships this year? I mean, he's done a very well job. I mean, when he came in, he was still a player's coach. So, I mean, now it's nothing's really changed. He's just <clears throat> building a relationship with everybody, which is awesome. When uh, when your range increases and you work on that, mm -hmm. what's that like in terms of the communication with the with the coaches to let them know, all right, this is my range, and does yeah. it vary game to game? I mean, like I said, the weather it varies on the weather a lot. You know, the wind and and if it's raining or not. Um, but basically, you know, warm ups. You know, I'll go back and see where I'm hitting today, and I'll talk to Coach Shear and Coach Pruitt and be like, you know, here's my line. So. I mean, again, like the second half, the winds died down, then it'll go back. But, but that's more of a, of a pregame thing mm -hmm. where you, you guys talk about the, the distance ahead of time. Yes, sir. How much do you have to kind of fight your own competitiveness and, and, and potential eagerness to, you know, want to make a big kick game winner, to, mm -hmm. to have to be honest with the coach and say, hey, this is, this is what I think my range is on a given yeah. day? I mean, if it comes down to it, no matter where it is, I'll walk up to Coach Pruitt and be like, I'm ready, no matter what. So. <laughs> How close do you think this program is to turn the corner? Oh, so close. I mean, our players have gone out every day and worked their heart out. Um, the coaching staff has done everything. So, I mean, we're very close. Do you see that with the talent, the way you practice? Where's the evidence? I mean, the way we came out for camp this year, we you know we all had a chip on our shoulder. And we were all ready. Um, and with the new guys coming in, the freshmen, they stepped up. And all the seniors and the older kids, they became really big leaders. So. What percentage of kicks, like in, a, in an average practice, do you have to make before you feel like you wrap up the practice and say, I think that was a pretty good game. Mm -hmm. pretty good I mean, some days we won't have field goal period, but mm -hmm. when we do, it's four shots and 
like I said, I want to be consistent and 100% every day, but nobody's perfect. But basically, I decide that when I'm warming up and, you know, if I'm ready for the period or not. But like I said, I want to be 100%, but nobody's perfect. Your coach just puts you in pressure situations. Like, mm -hmm. hey, we can in practice early if you make X on kicks, things like that. No, I wish he did, but no, <laughs> not like that. No, we'll probably do like, you know, two minute um, end of path or game winner, you know, situations. So I love the game situations that he's put me in this camp. Feels like I'm very prepared and ready. Is there anything like a season opener in your mind? I mean, every game to me is really important. You know, I lived in Nashville, so you know, Tennessee is my home, and mm -hmm. I get to represent that every time I step out in uh, Neyland. I mean, every game to me is really big. Brent, uh, Carly Lloyd from the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, women's national team made a, I guess, a 55 yard or something mm -hmm. like that in the Eagles camp. What, what do you yeah. think about the? That and the prospect of, of maybe a, a woman kicking in at some point in college or I mean, she's an athlete. I mean, Carly Lloyd, I mean, you can see her on TV. She's strong. Um, 